All right, family, it's your brother Asad. And I'm Adrian. And we are back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new material on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, we got to make sure we give a particular and a peculiar and a special and a significant type of love to our South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel, myself, my family, my children. We greatly appreciate it. Third, in terms of housekeeping, we still have KZN in our prayers and our thoughts, and we uh, wish you guys the best, and we, we, we are sorry for such an unfortunate event where so many lives have been lost. Mm -hmm. uh, fourth, in terms of housekeeping, the South African African American Dialogue will take place April 24th, Sunday, April 24th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. That will be 6 p.m. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. 6 p.m. in South Africa. 6 p.m. Or how, what is it in the military time? The hour. That's 18, 1800 hours. 1800 hours. 6 p.m., 1,800 hours in military time. Now, um, the South African, African-American dialogue. And I, I'm so appreciative to the number of people who reach out to this channel with questions because today's episode is sponsored by the email inbox. <laughs> now, I know y'all see this little light that's coming. I don't know if, yeah. if it's coming on to the camera, but I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know what to do. I, I move forward and follow me. I think it's like, I think it's like the most high just illuminating <laughs> my situation. <laughs> but I don't know, but we switched seats and everything. So quick update. There's a for sale sign in front of our house. Bam, bam, bam. So we're getting ready to roll. With that being said, we usually sit on a bench that's actually located to my right stage left and um it is very a very nice bench with pillows and all that good stuff but i don't want to mess it up because people coming into the house you know walking and looking so i want to keep the house clean smelling good and everything or whatever have you mm -hmm. if y'all look over my my right shoulder all the way back there on the wall you see a picture of who that is who is that? Is that Akhenaten and Nefertiti? Yeah. That's one of them. So I got a picture of Akhenaten and Nefertiti on the wall. And we got those from Egypt. So, um, you know, we always keep that. We always keep a little African vibe going on in here. Yeah, the African vibe. So. All right. Questions. Questions from the inbox. So, fortunately, a sister or brother, I don't know, named Aja, A-J-A, -A, I assume it's a sister, sent an email today asking some important questions. Mm -hmm. But these questions have been reoccurring. And a lot of times I just shoot a response back and bam, 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 like that, you know, just like that, bam, 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 right back and let them know that I've seen their email. But I said, you know what, what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I am going to answer some of the inbox questions and get, you know, this kind of stuff out the way. Yeah. Not that I mind answering, but a lot of times it's redundant. So maybe I could just bam, 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 point to a video. Right? True. Like that. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. That's right. efficient. Right. But repetition is the mother of learning. Did you know that? Is that the saying? What is it? I don't know. It's just that didn't seem familiar, but okay. Yeah, repeti repetition is a mother of learning or, or, or whatever have you. But anything you do repeatedly, you will learn to do well. Oh, oh, what that was? Yeah, when we came in, there was a mosquito that came in. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> uh-uh. We will need a mosquito now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so let's start with some of the most frequently asked questions, and then we're going to a answer Asia, Asia's, uh, AJA's questions uh, in particular. Okay. So what are some of the most frequently asked questions by African Americans in a size inbox? The one that I think I get the most is, hey, brother Asad, 
Uh, my wife and I are planning to visit South Africa this year or next year, and we want to know where are some great places that we should stay. Bang, bam, Question. bam. Just like that. I say it's the interrogative that sometimes shows the intelligence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, it's the it's not, the intelligent person is the one with the right questions. And that's a good question. It is a good question. That's a good question. Where should you stay? Somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere I can tell you safe. Where not to stay. Somewhere convenient. You don't want to stay in hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't no. Recommend Malvern. No, no. I shout out to Malvern. 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 I don't know if it's Malvern bad or good, but. It don't give me the hill. I know now. that all the money you spent to get to South Africa. You don't want to stay You weren't necessarily yeah. looking for now. Right, right. Not to say so, Melbourne's bad, but that wasn't what you were looking so for. So typically, we, well, whenever we have visited, which we have visited frequently, I guess at this point, Ooh, yeah. um, we stay in Rosebank. Write that down. Rosebank. R-O-S-E-B-A-N-K. Rosebank. Bam. Bam, bam, just like that. Rosebank. Why do we stay in Rosebank? There are other places to stay. You could stay in Melrose Ark. Melrose Ark is absolutely beautiful. It is, beautiful. It is nice, you know, um, and it gives you kind of the same access to shopping and restaurants, and entertainment right there. Right. In Melrose Ark. But we chose Rosebank because I'm a child of habit. Well, at first we didn't even choose Rosebank. Well, we chose. We lucked up and just ended up in Rosebank. Rosebank, that's true. I looked in Airbnb. I was like, oh, that looks nice. Has great reviews. We'll go there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And we but ended it turned up. Out great. It turned out to be turned out to be phenomenal. Now, the two places that we have stayed in Rosebank, two, one, two places that we have stayed in Rosebank. Uh, the one is called the Vantage. Right, and the other one, <laughs> the Tyrowit. Tyrowit or Tyra Titterwit. 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 One of the two. They cross the street from each other, basically. Um, when the lady who navigates says Titterwit. Titterwit. Okay. All Turn right. Left on Titterwit. For sure. Titterwit. Titterwit. Um, it looked like Tyrowit to me, but okay. <laughs> T Y say Ty where I'm from. <laughs> All right, cool. But uh, the Tirawit or the Tirawit and the Vantage. Now the Vantage, I must say, was very comfortable our first day. Um, however, we have discovered that the tire. Well, let me just say this: the Vantage, all right. It's cool. The first time we stayed there, affordable. we would have given it. It's, it's affordable. It's clean. Convenient. It's safe. Mm -hmm. Convenient. So it's not a knock. If we're talking about an A, B, C, D, F, bam, 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 bam. And we it's about a B minus. Plus. No, B minus. I give it a I give it a B minus. Oh, okay. I give it a B minus based on some of the experiences we've had. True. You know, True. B minus. So that's not bad, you know. And right above average, you know, or or C student ish. <laughs> oh, 80. You know what I'm saying? But it's above that. Now, the Tyrawit, the Tyrawit, is actually owned by the same people. And it is, I yeah, I found that out. Mm -hmm. And it is newer, maybe by a few years. And it is much nicer. Flat out. Yeah. It is much nicer. And guess what? The prices are comparable. They really are. We paid fifty, maybe sixty dollars yeah. per night at the tower with or tier with bedroom. For a two bedroom, two bedroom. Two bedroom, two bedroom. Yeah. Nice. I think we was on a fifth, sixth floor, maybe even the eighth floor. I think we were higher. Yeah. Yeah. Floor, Overlooking a really great view. Great a beautiful view. Great set great out on the balcony. balcony. Chopped it. Beautiful. So Rosebank, that's that's so when they ask what other you know where places stay, Rosebank, there's Melrose Arc, as we mentioned, and Melrose Arc kind of gives you so why Rosebank? You can come out, you can walk out your door at the tower with or at the vantage and make a left or right depending on your orientation. And there's a Starbucks 
and then there's a restaurants and and a grocery store and all the shopping that you need all the food you need entertainment if you need it the news cafe at nights turns into like a little bit of a minute club with music and the dj so there's a clinic close by there's a police clinic close by police station right yeah. it's safe convenient convenient so so that's why we like rose bank and melrose arc is kind of the same thing if you stay in the hotel i don't know the names of the hotels in the melrose arc or the airbnbs but there are some because friends of ours have stayed there and you can walk out your door and you have food restaurants shopping mm -hmm. and all that good stuff bam 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 just like that yeah. so what what are some questions you think we get uh, well you they come to your inbox yeah, yeah. um I don't know. What the, what are the frequent questions that people ask? Well, another frequent question is about real estate, oh, right? Yeah. So this is going to be kind of brief because I think we've actually done entire videos yeah. back in the day on real estate. But let me say this. Yes, Johannesburg of real estate is more affordable than the United States if you're dealing with most major cities. If you're coming from any major city in the United States, you are going to be able to afford something very nice in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Yes, the process of purchasing is very similar to the process of purchasing in the United States. Uh, I don't think in some, I heard people talk about going through, ain't no kings we went through. We ain't had to we go didn't. through no chiefs or none of that. We went through Remax and uh, <laughs> Ross and properties and some attorneys. And some attorneys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you own the land flat out. Yeah, you get the paperwork. They do it real, like, you know, Western. So, uh, um, can you borrow is another question that we get often. Yeah. Can you borrow over there? And the answer is yes. You can borrow 50%. So, if you're looking at a $200,000 house, you can borrow $100,000 if you're not a citizen or a permanent resident. Put down the other hundred. Yeah, yeah, you're going to come up with that. Now, that's what we've heard, though. We haven't borrowed. No, we haven't borrowed. So I don't know. But that's what we've been told repeatedly. Mm -hmm. uh, now, um, credit, since this kind of ties in, credit, and this is one of Aja's questions, or uh, uh, Asia's questions, or uh, AJA questions. She asked about credit. No, your credit score, your 780 credit score over here. A 390. A 390, wherever you at. <laughs> On that spectrum. It could be good or bad for you. It, right. It doesn't count an essay. Doesn't count an essay. Um, you know, they can reach out to your financial institutions to determine your, your uh, you know, if you got some money in the bank, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But yeah, your. You want to see income. Yeah. Like but your credit score. Is brand new. How do you establish credit in SA? I'm not sure, but I mean, they do have credit cards. You know, you can go probably put down half on a car, buy your car, finance the rest, and establish credit like that uh, in SA. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but I'm not sure how you establish credit, which is something once I find out, I'll let you know. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. All right. Um, what else they ask? Um, they always ask about the permits and the visas. Mm -hmm. And so we've been over that a million times Ooh. on this channel, but let's give it one more again. Oh, wow. There's three, one, two, <laughs> one, two, three, y'all. Three types of visas that you can get. There's more than three, but the three main ones, the three main ones, that's bam, that's the business visa. And you have to have X amount of dollars uh, invested into a South African company. Uh, in order to obtain the business visa. Side note, there are ways of getting that amount of money waived if mm -hmm. you invest or, or into a certain in, into certain types of businesses. Tourism is one. I believe waste management and recycling may be another, mm -hmm. right? Um, so business visa. Secondly, there is the critical skills visa. As of 2022, some of those critical skills, there's a critical skills list that the South African government has. Look it up. Google critical skills list 2022 South Africa, mm -hmm. right? 
and pull up that PDF. Go through that list. See if you have any of those qualifications. Are you an IT manager? No. Okay, then that's not for you. Are you um <laughs> <laughs> that's not for you? <laughs> Uh, find the match for you. Find the match. One. There may not be one. Then if you look through that and you say, wait a minute. I studied I, English and I've been an English teacher. They they don't really need it. That. If you've studied if you studied Shakespearean theater, you might want to reconsider your, your visa. Because that critical skills, you're not gonna be on them. Mm -hmm. They looking for hard sciences most of the time. Nursing, some of those medical professionals, mm -hmm. IT, engineering, ah. <laughs> and then a lot of, um, I saw pipe fitting and stuff like those hard yeah. skills that they want. Yeah. yeah. If, if you got, if you study Shakespearean theater and Shakespearean literature, and you know that Macbeth Act 1, Scene 3 says that time passes through the roughest day, all oh, that's phenomenal. But you ain't gonna be on that critical skills list. <laughs> and the critical skills got harder. It got harder. Oh, they, they used to wrong say in 2022. They used to say if you qualify right. for the critical yeah, skills list, you can wait a year. You can come there and, and take a year to find you a job. And in that year, you since you are on a critical skills list, it's a critical skill, yeah. you should be able to get employed. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Now the question that Aja, Asia, AJA asked was about degree qualifications. Hmm. So degree qualification. So if you got that BA English, Shakespeare, literature, and theater, and you want to know if you could go over there and teach Shakespearean literature, and I wrong with Shakespeare, but Shakespeare was a genius. Yes, I'm not down in Shakespeare. Uh, oh, where we? Yes, the degree. If you want to know if your degree <laughs> matches some of the needs, oh, uh, not not the needs. If your degree qualifies you to maybe teach Shakespeare in literature, yeah, um, they have something called SACWA. SACWA. What does that stand for? S A Q A. SACWA. No, what does it stand for? I want to make sure the people hear it. Oh. SACWA. South African Qualification Agency? Assessment? Agency? Association? Association? One of those. A-Town Up. <laughs> Peace <laughs> up, A-Town Up. I don't know what the last A stands someone, for. Someone drop it in the comments. Yeah, but, it, it, but, but, but what it is, I don't know what the letters stand for. South African Qualifications. I know that right on. But what they do, qualifying, qualifying right on. Something with quality in it. Qual. <laughs> right? So what they do is they look at your degree. They look at your transcripts. They look at the university you attended. And they say, yes, this school, this coursework, and uh, this transcript mm -hmm. qualifies this individual to teach or whatever or to work in this particular industry. Or they say, no, he went to ITT Tech. No, he went to Mola Beauty College. That don't qualify you to go to the university and teach. ITT Tech don't even exist no more. Where you gonna get your transcripts from? From ITT Tech, right? So that's what SACWA does. So they look at your um, qualifications. Yeah. That you submit and then they make a determination whether this degree counts. I went through the process. Yeah, you, you cut huh? yourself off with the critical skills visa. When you're like, oh, you used to be able to come and you had a year to job hunt. Uh -huh. And then you went off to talk about SACWA. But the change uh -huh. is that you need to come with a offer, offer of employment. Yeah. An offer of employment. Yeah, big facts. Okay, so... Business visa, critical skills visa, and we went through the critical skills stuff. Third thing, the third thing, one, two, three. The third most common visa is the retired person's visa. 
And that means that you have to show that you have a retirement income from an annuity or um, um, rental income, mm -hmm. a pension mm -hmm. that's equal to 37,000 Rand a month, uh, which is about $2,700. If you have a spouse and that person is coming with you, then you need to add 3,000 3, Rand to that, which pushes you up to 30,000 Rand. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 40,000 Rand. And we're looking at right at 3,000, maybe $3,100 yeah. a month, right? That you can prove from your retirement, a pension, and a combination of your retirement and rental income, if you have rental income, right? Mm -hmm. Or um, dividends from your stock. But anything, but not employment, not proven employment, yeah. right? So if you can prove that, if you're a retired person, then you can qualify for the retired, per retired person's visa mm -hmm. if you make, just going to say 31000 I mean, $3,100 a month, right? 3100 United States dollars a month, about 40000 Rand per month. Mm -hmm. Right. Is the the details of these are they on the Department of Home Affairs website? You can find them now. You can find them on several websites. If you just Google South African visa, there's going to be a gang of um, companies that come up. Mm -hmm. One of the questions was, do you need an uh, immigration like attorney or broker to um, get yeah. your visa to apply? I would tentative, tentatively, 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 tentatively. <laughs> ah, tentatively, tentatively <laughs> say yes. With an asterisk by that yes. I said tentatively, it's tentatively. Tentatively, that's what I was saying, right? Yeah. Right, tentatively. <laughs> Right, right. I got this. I got this. I got this. Tentatively. Yes. Right. <laughs> I'll put a little asterisk <laughs> by that and say, after we have gone through the process and actually gotten what the immigration person was supposed to give up, give to us, and I looked at it. I said, man, I could have done this myself easily. Yeah. But because this is such a big deal, right? Because this is a big move. This is major, right? You don't want to have to go through this two and three times. First of right. all, they don't make it easy. No. You have to fly. If you're in New Orleans or the Houston, you got to fly to D.C. You got to make an appointment. Right. Fly. To the embassy to drop this paperwork off. There's one in New York, there's one in DC, and if I'm not mistaken, I think there's one in LA. Mm. Either way, if you are not in New York, DC, or LA, you gotta get there to one of those places. And you gotta turn in this paperwork. And if it's wrong, guess what? You gotta go back. Mm. No! So you wanna make sure that's done right. You don't wanna be taking two or three trips to know uh, D.C., to know New York, two or three times to go sit in the office? You got money like that? <laughs> they might. You, you <laughs> might, but you might as well pay that man, the immigration man, who is going to project manage this for you, right? And check it out. Okay, you got that? You got that? You got that? That's a nice, cute little cover letter. There you go. <laughs> and send you that package back and all you got to do is press print and you know everything now. <laughs> and you can take it to them people and you can submit it with confidence. Instead of looking around and they look at you and no, you ain't got this. Now you digging all in your bag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Calling people. Look, look, yeah. Look uh-uh. Uh-uh. We not doing that. <laughs> I am not worried about Josephine with that one right there. <laughs> I'm not finna do it. Yeah, so do you need one? Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. Unless you immigrated places around the world before. But going if it's out of reach financially, you can't possible. attempt it on your own. You yeah. can. 
You can probably get it done, but I doubt you get it done the first time. That's my feeling, right? I doubt that you get it done the first time because I'm going to say this. If you read what's on the website and they tell you everything that you need, they don't tell you everything that you need. Mm. Yeah. Peep that. They tell you everything that you need, but they don't tell you everything that you need. Barriers. You did. So, other frequently asked questions. Uh, places to live. Mm. Yeah. What neighborhoods? So, they've already been to South Africa. They've been to Johannesburg. They bought in. Now they want to know, brother. Asa oh, I showed y'all the back of my shirt. Can y'all see it? What it is Doctor Side? Oh yeah, yeah. And then just for those who want to know, that's it. R L twenty one. Ralph Lauren. Two thousand. That's that's the polo bear. I want y'all to know that. I want y'all to know that. That S.A. Polo, they ain't got the Polo Bear. I don't think so. They got, that's the Polo Bear. Yeah. But anyway. Where to live? They want to know Brother where to live. Five? So, <laughs> we have had the privilege in June, December, and March of going around with different real estate agents and seeing various places. And um, so the northern suburbs are usually where they would probably tell you to go. So some of those places are Palsive. Write this down. I say Palsive. <laughs> right? Um, Four, ways. Four Ways. Bryanston. Bryanston. The Satin is kind of like all of this is really satin when you think about it because i think even when you say dan fern golf estates morning Morningside is actually morning side satin yeah. is what i've seen yeah so rivonia there you go <laughs> then you can kind of keep going north towards pretoria then you get into like centurion uh, then that waterfall area out there by the Mall of Africa, Midran, right? And I have been told specifically by several people, both Black South Africans and African Americans who have relocated, they say, brother Assad, get on an estate. You want to be on a secured estate. Mm. Is crime that bad in Johannesburg? Possibly. But I think what I like about the estates, so there's Dan Fern Golf Estates. There's Blue Valley Estates. There is, give me another one. Um, um, what's that one that we were looking at recently? Four Ways Estate or something Four like that. Garden. Four Ways there's Garden. So many. Right. So many. There are a lot of these estates. And here's the, the good thing about these estates. Number one, you're all like if it's a golf estate, they're going to have a clubhouse. And you can go to that clubhouse and sit down and eat. It's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. A lot of these estates have uh, some type of restaurant on. So uh, 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 an estate is what we would call a neighborhood. It's a gated community. Or a gated community. I grew up in Wood Lake Estates. It didn't have gates, though. It didn't have gates. But it was, you knew when you entered it because it had a big old sign that said Wood Lake Estates and you enter, cross a little canal and then you're in a very, you know, all right neighborhood. It wasn't a very nice neighborhood, but um, it was a nice, all right neighborhood. But uh, so what they call, what we call neighborhoods, they call estates. And on this gate, in this neighborhood, in this gated community, You'll have a restaurant. You'll have a workout facility. They, I think another terminology is lifestyle mm -hmm. estates. Mm -hmm. Meaning you don't really have to leave off the estate 
to go get anything done. You know, all of them. Gym in your pool. Yeah, yeah. You know, tennis, tennis courts. courts. Yeah, yeah basketball. And all of that. Kind of a lot of activities for the children and all of that yes, right on the estate. have someone creating community events so right. you can come out and meet your neighbors and hang out. So you have to pay what they call levies. We would call HOA fees, mm -hmm. homeowners association fees. So, and that's to keep the grounds beautiful. And that's for all of this upkeep of all this other stuff. So I would advise anyone to look into an estate in those places that we mentioned, Paulson, Ravonia, uh, Centurion, Midrand, Morningside, um, Four Ways, uh, Craig of Vaughn. What's his name? I have seen a Craig of Vaughn. Yeah. I'm not that familiar with it. But... Those areas. Now, mm -hmm. other folk were mentioning. Like over by what, Rosebank? Yeah, what's the name of it? Parkhurst. Parkhurst. States, or... There you go. Those places. So now, there are some phenomenal places to live in the south of Johannesburg. I'm just not familiar yeah, with like it. That, what, Eye of Africa? Is that the Something like that, yeah. That's really nice. But, and, and then there's Stain City, which is in the north. Stain yeah, City. North. But that's, you know, those, those, and some of these places now, don't get it twisted. Yeah, they get expensive, and the houses get big, 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 big old houses. Yeah. And then if you want to ride a little bit, say like you're a retired person, you don't have children going to school in the city, you could ride out to Heart to the Beast Sport. Heart to the Beast Sport. Heart to the Beast. <laughs> Heart to the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> You can ride out there. <laughs> and there's a place called Pecan Wood. Yeah. Oh, Pecan man. Wood. I wanted to live in Pecan Wood that. so bad, but it's so, so far. We saw that drive. Was yeah, like, it's, it's a far drive, but that's a beautiful neighborhood. My God, my God, my God. All right. So I think that has answered some of the frequently asked questions. If there's more, I'm sure there's somebody be in my inbox asking some more questions. But thank you guys yeah. for for watching and tuning in. Again, the South African, African-American Dialogue, April 24th, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time in the United States and 6 p.m., 1800 hours in South Africa. Please join us. The link will be in the description of this video. Anything else you want to add? Nothing else. If you have more questions, you can add them in the comments as well. And we out. We out. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that.